Oh. Where were they standing this whole time? Ah, oh, damn it. She's walking normally. Damn it. Damn it, I caught that. What? Damn it. It was long time no see. I'm not I'm not counting men on meat one. We have a joking fucking yeah. counter. That I... Oh, yeah, we have a long time no see counter. No, it's got gonna... Arcadia on its own. It's gonna have that go up. No, like the thing is, because I kind of lost track of it and I had a question mark on it. No, seriously, where where were you all <laughs> hiding? These outfits don't exactly uh, allow you to be conspicuous. And again, the one girl actually had a decently, like, normal walk cycle instead of that really, like, stiff, yep. stiff leg thing she did at the start. Anywho. This is why I wanted to record this when we did, because we can... Have my serious apologies. Come, Come again? again? Through the academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. What? I still don't... I mean, why? You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about your subsequent mm. actions. <laughs> look, look at the outfit you're all wearing. He has a point. <laughs> Ever since my first day as director, all I've experienced of the academy is an environment... Mm. Blessed, free from bullying. <laughs> but now I know this piece was built on the backs of... All your hurt and anger and, of course, your immense courage in putting things to right. And so, I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy... Order for Team Star to disband and my threat to expel those who do not obey. Are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it means? Yes, you anime morons. <laughs> Indeed, Team Star can continue to exist, should that be your wish. I mean, isn't that great? Now we can all stay together. Yeah. My heart is giddy with glee. But I betrayed all of you. Mm. You mean Operation Star? Our director Cleaver told us about it. As far as we heard, you only went through it to save us from being expelled. You were just worried about us. Yeah. Not like we'd ever chunk the team just because someone told us to. After all, I ain't our style. I cannot even begin to imagine how you must... Have feared for us, Lady Penny. Sorry for making you worry, BB. We're all okay now. You guys are dorks. Yeah, but they're my, my dorks. dorks. No, that's the perfect time. That's basically what this yeah. is. No, perfect time for that audio. Those guys are dorks and then Penny. Yeah, well, they're my, my dorks. I'm sure there's a meme added of that somewhere. As previously stated, the requirements for Team Star to disband has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. Your, <laughs> yeah. your protested tyranny, your brazen communication of oh, customization of school uniforms, your unauthorized uses of academy equipment, your reckless modification and jeopardous driving of Pokemon-powered vehicles. Mm -hmm. You know, go on, your free... <laughs> The Fragrant disregard for school rules cannot simply be over. There you go, I was laughing too much. Ah, crap. Thus, as punishment, you will all be required to engage in community service. Community service? Yeah, specifically, I'll be asking you to manage the STCs. And that stands for? The Star Training Centers. They shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon mm -hmm. trainers' talents. I plan for the Academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came mm -hmm. to me when I saw Master Carter battling his way through your bases. The bases' mm -hmm. construction, as well as the tactics employed by the students in Team Star, are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue your team activities but henceforth as STC staff members using your formal bases as training facilities, and that's the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Uh, no, sounds like fun. I don't see how this will be anything but a win-win. 
maybe a weird thing to say since the STCs are supposed to be a punishment and all, but you should totally join too, in it. True, we would be most happy with your results, my lady. Oh my god, he actually <laughs> said my lady. lady. <laughs> or was it my lady? We can go to school together. Oh, if anything happens, we'll protect you. We were already talking about how great it'd be to have both Team Star and the schools in our lives, so that'd be a sweet deal for us both. So what do you say? You guys. Carter, what do you think? Give it your best. Oh, huh, but I just... No need to give a response at this moment, Miss Penny. Just take some time to decide. For now, at least, I think our little group should go their separate ways. Not to say you should break up Team Star, after all. I simply mean it's time to leave. <laughs> This is perfect within our time schedule. Please stop by my office later if you would. <laughs> oh, and I'm um, confiscating the star mobile. He snaps one of them, just rolls off. He gets in it and it just drops off. <laughs> no, 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 the, the better thing. Oh, and by the way, um, I will be using... This exclusively from now on, it's a star mobile, but it's repainted in um, his fucking colors. <laughs> okay. That's in the in entrance is at the hall. No, where is it? Oh, not the entrance hall. His director's office. <laughs> we still have time. We still have plenty of time. <laughs> oh, okay, I got like an hour, but it's not gonna... I love the slide. What do you want, bitch? You're here, Master Garda. Wanted to thank you for all your hard work and resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, I suspect I would have done the... Team a grave injustice in my choice of punishments for their actions. You have my sincerest gratitude. Who is it? Uh, it's Penny. Uh, Miss Penny, do come in. Hello, Director. About the STCs, I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. That's wonderful news. Thank you very much for your favorable response. But, uh, I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, because of the other really bad thing I did. What would that be? Uh, you know, the LP, I... Gave you both in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall. I got a hold of it sort of illegally by hacking the Pokemon <laughs> League's LP management. I almost made a joke about her stealing, like, funding from the school. Ah, uh, I see. That's quite the revelation. I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. It wasn't uh, all that hard. Uh, I mean, I'm really sorry and I won't do it again. Matter is... Mm. Rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I'll have to consult Miss Gita, the mm. league chairwoman, on how best to, <coughs> best to proceed. I just started coughing. I figured as much. I do apologize, Master mm. Carter, but I will have to ask you <laughs> to give us some privacy. Don't worry, Penny. You're not the first. I, I, I take uh, from all the teacher salaries. What? You both pretend you didn't hear that. Okay. Then where the fuck do I go? I believe that's the end of the... We didn't say it was the end. That's the confusing part here. I guess just go to the front of the school so we can stop right now because we were going. <laughs> I was about to fucking stop anyway! Mm. I just didn't get the little prompt, so I was just confused. Mm. Something might happen when you, like, naturally leave. I'll walk out of the school just to see if I get a cutscene. If not, I can figure that out, because <laughs> we kind of need... Mm. Yeah, because... Yep. Sweet. That's the OP, yeah? Phoenix. Something I want to talk to you about. Could you come meet me in front of the school stairs? You know, where we first met. I'll be waiting. Yes. Good. Okay. We can keep recording. I, th <coughs> we got like an hour. Meaning I just need to run down. 
Oh, don't say it. Did you just run past her? I said don't say it. I didn't say you did run <laughs> past her. I was asking if you did. I actually, because of the running past, I actually couldn't tell. Yeah, but... Okay. Mm. All of this star. Also of this star. Yeah. The six of us don't let that catch raise back when we created the game. It's so cringy, it's perfect, you know? You're a dork, you know that? Yeah. Anyway, about the LP thing, I thought I was going down big time for hacking the league point system, but they're letting me off easy. What happened? Pokemon League said they'd waive my debt if I do some volunteer engineering for them. They even asked me to come work for them after I graduate, if you can believe that. Director Cleveland Gita, <laughs> that Gita lady, kept complimenting me like a weird amount. Apparently, I have outstanding talent or something. Sorry for calling you out here to meet like this. I'm still not great with people meeting people face to face. I've never seemed to find the right words, but um, thank you so much. You saved Team Star and as my and my friends along with it. I know words won't even be enough to probably thank you for all you've done. So here, oh. Fuck yeah! 69. Nice. TM 169. Draco fucking Meteor! Love that move. So, the whole gimmick... <laughs> but I also hate that move. It is 90 accuracy, mm. and it drops special attack two stages, but it's like 130 power. I mean... Yeah, and it, it, it's a special move. Meanwhile, I'll make it rain is one. Because it drops special attack. Yeah. It's 120 power, hits two things in a double battle, and is one stage, and 100 accuracy. And yeah. someone might say, oh, Draco Meteor is stronger, and that's one of those, yes, you're, you're right. But I would still say make it rain is better. Be seen, you didn't? Yeah. And, also the, beast, and the other thing I can't remember is Draco Meteor, one of those moves that. Is it five shots or ten? Because it's... That's what I wanted. Starfall Street. Complete. Nishan. Concrete. I didn't want to stop, and I figured, what, five minutes? Oh, yep. Now I gotta go back to Arvin. Yay. Speaking of... Bow wow. Oh, down, boy. Don't jump up. Like, that seems like hearing your voice has all my boss to hear all worked up. Quarter of oh, but... That's not why I call. I nearly forgot. You remember what we talked about before, about going to Area Zero. Yes. Of course you <laughs> do, you little know-it-all. I got a mind I can still try, eh? Well, all the effort you've been putting in around Paldea has really helped you make a name for yourself, but... Just had to collect the harem. Yeah. Fill up some goodwill, that's for sure. So I've been able to secure two allies who want to go to Area Zero or with us. That you make... That should have us ready to tackle anything. So now we just all need to go there. Huh. First step will be gathering at Area Zero. I'll be waiting at the Zero Gate. I'll send you a location on your phone, too. Don't leave me hanging. We'll be waiting. Bow yeah, wow. That's it. Awesome. We're done. Yeah. With the main crap. And all in two and a half hours. Good. Oh, that's good. That, oh, that's great. That's great. I'm just gonna casually just walk over here so I can be buy a Pokemon. Damn. Got to go the slightly long way. Can't climb this stupid thing. We're done. Next up is the sort of true endpoint, and then when the game is basically over, I'm gonna start EV training and doing some battles. That's it. I'm done. I did it. I need to stop because I want to go watch anime. Uh, hey, I said if we rushed and I just got a couple of PMs, I could probably wipe everything out. I did it. I'm done. I mean, obviously, there's area zero. It's not like I'm. Yes. No, it's not like I'm quitting. We've done the main three stories. I, I do need to quickly explain something, though. And this explanation is super important, so just, um, hold on. Area 
Zero is the true end of the game. But I did want to come over here after the stories are over and see if I get the freaking judge. Because if I don't get the judge, you get it after the Area Zero crap. That's why. I'm pretty I... sure you get it is after the Area Zero crap. Looks like it. That makes sense. Okay. That's good to know. Then, with that said, I'm going to stop. Next time we record is Area Zero. When Area Zero is done, I am going to EV train and start doing online battles. And those online battles are probably going to start appearing long before this part is ever seen publicly. But I hope you all enjoyed this set of videos. And I hope I will see you all next time. So as always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, everybody. I hope you come back someday. See you later. Bye, everybody. It's time for the question of the day and my overall thoughts on the topic. So, anyway, how many of you also find Team Star's situation to be incredibly relatable? I find their story to be incredibly Relatable, I talked a bit about this in Pokemon Violet, but I was essentially bullied in school, and due to sheer incompetence, it was never really handled all that well, and their story is relatable to me. Now, I wasn't the one that instigated anything, but my point is the school did not help me at all. And I basically ended up in a scenario where the school only really stepped in once my mother essentially complained. And even after she complained, that never really stopped me from getting bullied. The school just essentially half-assed acknowledged it. But the other thing that they basically also only half-assed acknowledged was a time where I basically got hurt due to a bit of negligence. While this was technically an accident, this could have easily been prevented. Essentially, we were in the gym, and there wasn't really a teacher or anyone around, and a bunch of students climbed up on top of some stuff they really should not have been climbing on. And essentially, when the students were climbing down, a girl that was not paying attention ended up stepping on my face and that did a lot of damage and it basically took my mother complaining to basically force the school to make that girl apologize even though her apology was incredibly half-assed and the school also never took responsibility for negligence even though they should have, since I do not remember a single teacher in that gym, and this could have been prevented if a teacher was basically in the gym and stopped the students from climbing on stuff they really should not have been climbing on. So, essentially, I have dealt with a school that is incredibly negligent and in this other discussion that me and Carson talked about during Pokemon Violet, Sean and Brian at a different time had said they don't 
understand why the game essentially lets Team Star get away with what they did, but I feel like they missed the point since the new director pretty much said he was sorry that the old administration did nothing. So essentially, this was the fault of the school the entire time since their negligence started this. And then Team Star did face a punishment. But the thing that Brian was hung up on was the fact that Penny technically got off without any serious repercussions. But in my opinion, that is incredibly good because that shows a thing that I wish more media would. Penny was essentially a child that did something stupid, but she was offered an ultimatum where her talents could basically be used for good instead of essentially treating Penny as an adult when she is technically a child, even if she is decently old, it's still a good thing to show a bit of mercy since she obviously did not really think she had a different choice in the matter. And I feel like it's a positive message to basically show that a child or young adult that honestly did not really think about the consequences of their actions could basically be given a bit of mercy in exchange for cooperating with the people they essentially screwed over. So using Penny's talents they were basically going to tighten up security and essentially let Penny continue doing what she's good at. But now she would be doing it in a positive way instead of basically letting her rot in jail where this talent goes to waste. And I think that's completely fair since she obviously showed regret but anyway you can leave your thoughts opinions and answers in the comments or you can leave them on social media all of my social media links as well as my discord links are in the video description now as always I need to be a shell for a minute if you subscribe to the channel and if you follow me on social media that really helps our communities grow but anyway I hope you all enjoyed the video and I hope I will see you all next time. So as always good morning, good afternoon, good evening or good night everybody. I hope you come back someday. See you later.